Diana J. Brody here from Next Level Editing Academy, and today I got a quick one for you. This happened to me this week. I was doing it wrong, and you might be too. Let's get down to it. I'm in Premiere. I'm going to Resolve. The Resolve is going to do the color. Usually, if I do this workflow, this has been going from an from me to an AE, from the AE to Resolve, right? So I don't work in Resolve. It's I'm keen to learn it, but for right now. I farm all my Resolve stuff out, and I generally don't send it myself. So I didn't know that I was making this big mistake. Here we go. Before we do it though, really quickly, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, as the kids like to say. And listen, if this is something that's happened to you, or you have had other problems that you want to bring to my attention about the same workflow, leave me a comment. Let me know. I want to know. I want to help other people not make these same mistakes. So let's get right down to it. Here we go. Uh, I've got my sequence here, resolve flow. I'm going to use my uh, cousin's interview because I don't have to worry about copyright or an NDA. Uh, so normally I would double click it and edit it in. I don't generally drag and drop, but I wanna show you an, uh, an error message, not an error message, a little assert that I get when I drag this in. My sequence is in 1920 by 1080 because that's my delivery spec. You always want your sequence in your delivery spec. And here's what happened to me. Uh, so. Do I want to change the sequence setting? Do I want to keep existing setting? I want to keep the existing setting. I want my sequence to be in my delivery spec. So I'm going to check, I'm going to click that. As you can see, now my cousin comes in and it's way too big. Normally I'd click on this, go over to my effect controls, to my motion tab and scale it down, right? Now it's at 50, but here's the situation. When you're going to resolve, if I just scale that down and then it goes to resolve, it's not gonna be the right size. It's not gonna be the right size because I don't have the right setting. So if I right click on this clip and I come down here to scale to frame size, right? Now it's gonna to scale to the frame size. So now this is 100%, but it's not really, it's this big. So if I scaled it down to 50 and then I come over here and I hit scale to frame size, now look how tiny it is. This is the problem that's gonna happen in Resolve if I do this workflow this way. Normally, I don't even think about it. I don't think about whether my stuff is scaled or set to frame size because most of the time I'm doing the color correction myself in Premiere. But when I'm working on a project for someone else and it's got to go to Resolve, which is a better workflow because Resolve does a better job of color correcting. Not that Premiere is bad, but Resolve is just sort of orders of magnitude better. Uh, then it's a problem. So uh, I'm going to undo all that. So now here we go. It's scaled at 100. You see that it's too big. Instead of just going and scaling it down, if I click here and I say set to frame size, set to frame size right there. Now it automatically scales it down to 50 over here. Now it's scaled down to 50 and now it looks right. And now it will look right in Resolve. So that's the entire enchilada right there, folks. But you don't have to go clip to clip to clip, right clicking, saying set to frame size each damn time. You can do it pervasively for the whole project and I'm gonna show you how in just a second. First, I wanna to apologize to all my AEs. I'm sorry for anybody who's ever had to rescale all of my pictures because I have uh, all my clips because I had it uh, to scale frame size instead of set to frame size. Uh, and this sure really should have a check mark next to it and it doesn't and it's kind of bothering me. But I apologize to you, I'm so, so sorry. And if you're an AE and you are so tired of doing this kind of task for editors and you're tired of wrangling media and you just wanna be in the edit chair, editing actual content and being creative, my mentorship program is now open. I've dropped a link for you below you can apply to see if you're right for my mentorship program and work with me to get you from the assistant editor chair into the editing chair full time where you can be creative instead of having to do this ponderous task that I wish I had an AE that I could have passed it off to. So don't forget to hit that link below. There are still a few slots left. It's open. 
And if you're an editor and you're looking to hop genres or your career is stagnated, you can hit me up and apply for that mentorship program as well. Hit that link below, folks. But now let's get back to showing you how to change your project pervasively. Follow the bouncing ball up to Premiere Pro pull down to settings, to media, and go to your preferences. And instead of scale to frame size, set to frame size, set to frame size, set to frame size. Make sure when you start a project, you say set to frame size. AEs, if you're setting the project up for your editor, set it up this way, set to frame size. Editors, before you start a project, if you know you're going to resolve, even if you're not the one who's going to have to do this, go in and make sure you set it to frame size so you don't drive your AEs crazy. I want to do a quick shout out to Julie Wong. She's one of the best in post-production. If you've had a chance to work with Julie, then you are a happy, happy AE or editor. Julie Wong, I know that this is a problem you've had, and I know it's a problem that's driven you crazy. So I hope you appreciate this video. And a double shout out to Maroof. Maroof was my, was my Resolve color guy. I am so sorry about the problems when you brought it in and you were like, why does the footage look this way? I didn't know. I know now. I fixed it now moving forward. So there you go. Double shout out right at the end. Uh, AEs, don't forget, set to frame size. Uh, also, if you want to get a one-on-one 20-minute -on -one career consultation with me for free, I've got that open as well. I'm going to leave that link below. Hit that up. You're going to want to take advantage of that. Hope everyone's well. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.